Have you heard? The Abbey is building a new base. I hear it's a huge temple in the middle of some mountains near a site of ancient ruins. If they've got time to build a temple, they should use it to kill more demons instead. You sure you want to talk like that here? Ha! I'm different from all those losers who swoon over the Shepherd's pretty words and ignore reality. No one's found a way to cure demon blight yet, and demons are still swarming everywhere. Sure, maybe things are not as bad as they could have been, but we still have no idea what's going to happen next. Think about it! Demons could be infiltrating the city as we speak, and we'd be none the wiser! Yep, you're completely right. All right, the guards are gone. Let's move in. Benwick and the crew did a fine job. But is the Vernaltia just over there? I'm pretty sure that's it right there. Whatever. Good day, Morris Pixie here. Today we are playing Tales of Berseria. So what's in these crates? Are we going to find out before we destroy them? Red crates. These must be our targets. The seal of Midgant Cathedral? Should we look inside? There's no need. Burn them, Lafayette. Okay. We're done here. Let's go. That storm oh. costs too much time. I must report to Lord Artorias as soon as possible. Oh, oh. No. No. It's you! Oh, hey. The crybaby. Eleanor Hume! Exorcist Crater! No! Ah! Get away this time! <laughs> You want to fight, don't you? How can I be so Willing to fight without your Malachim? No. You set the storehouse ablaze? The people have worked so hard to withstand this time of crisis. How can you destroy what they have so painstakingly built? Because I'm not human. You'll pay for this, you demon! More Malakim up her sleeves. I will protect you, Madam Eleanor. Come and face me now, demon. He's adorable. Uh, am I? Ooh, I found you at last. That bad, bad voice. Fu, you traitor! You'll never leave my clutches again! Not her! No! What are you doing? Get out there and fight! Hey, look! Is that smoke? It is! Fire! The fire has spread enough. Let's get going. You're coming with us. Madam Exorcist! What happened? Oh, you're badly hurt. I can wait. Gather the people and put out that fire. Yes, madam. Tell me, do you know what was being kept in that warehouse? Um, mostly nectar, I believe. Vast stores of the medicine, provided by High Priest Gideon, to be distributed to doctors across the land. Medicine given by the church? Why would anybody destroy it? So we're apparently destroying medicine? Okay, so let's look at what we know. People from the Blood Wings attack a medical caravan. We believe, because they were all wearing the red scarves and all the people from the Blood Wings wear the red scarves. That that caravan had the medicine marked with the church's seal on it. 
Now we're destroying more of this medicine with the church's seal. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on with the medicine, but I have a feeling... Whew, like Looks it's like we're in the clear. Important. <laughs> Misfortune and anguish! I have that little turncoat right in front of me! Well, at least now I know where to find him! That weird little Moloch was the one you were looking for? The very same. The Moloch Bienfu! A creature of unfathomable wickedness and beguiling cuteness who broke the heart of this wretched maiden! <laughs> Once I finally catch him, who knows what I'll be capable of? Not sure I get it. Me neither. Good. Pray that you never do. Let's go back and report our success. What's the deal with you and that exorcist, Eleanor? She had tears in her eyes when we first saw her at Northgand. Velvet poked fun at her, calling her the crybaby exorcist. Why would an exorcist cry? Sacrificing the individual for the good of the many is part of Artorius's philosophy. She seemed troubled by that. She's naive. That she can still carry on shows just how strong she is. It looks like they don't hand out the rank of Praetor to just anyone. Hmm? Just stay sharp around her. That's all. By the way, is that Bienfu character that Magilu was after really a Moloch? He may look strange, but yes, he's still a Moloch. That means Magilu is an exorcist. Why does she call herself a witch then? If she got locked up in that prison, she must have been kicked out of the Abbey. Or she could be a fraud. Yeah. Even if she wasn't an exorcist, she could still perform some tricks with a Moloch like that. I will protect you, Madam Eleanor! Face me now, demon! <laughs> right? <laughs> Was that laughter? Uh, I'm sorry. Why apologize? Bienfu is funny, right? Right. Then if you want to laugh, laugh! <laughs> if you think that's funny, you should give it a try for yourself. Say, Hi, I'm Luffy Set! Uh, alright. Hi, I'm Luffy Set! Knock it off! Huh? What's the problem? People are staring. Don't attract attention. I'm sorry. <sighs> She's so uptight. Let's try it together later, Luffy Set. Uh, alright. Can I literally adopt Luffy Set and have him be my brother in real life? It's just so awesome. Trouble at the docks, was there? Well, so long as the job was done. If I didn't bring back a scholar named Mendy, who disappeared along Gallas Lake Road. Good luck. I look forward to hearing your report. And again, all the red scarves. A scholar missing on the road to Gallas Lake. Strange request. If they know where he vanished, why don't they just look for him there? Exactly. And what's so illegal about a missing persons case that you gotta go to the underworld? I can think of a few possibilities. But our job isn't to ask questions. Hey, that noisy demon looks pretty strong. Think it might be one of those Code Red demons? Doesn't matter to me. I'd rather not waste my time fighting it if I don't need to. I don't see it as a waste of time. Look, the Abbey only has a handful of exorcists strong enough to take something like this down, right? Probably. I'd say Praetors like Lady Teresa and the Legates could probably take it on. And those guys are all your enemies, right? <sighs> I see where you're going with this. The Abbey is strong, both in its individual members and as an organization. And if we're to close the gap between us and them, we need to fight strong opponents like this demon. That's what I would do. But you're free to make your own decision. All right. I'll concede the point. But we should determine just how strong it is first. I don't want us to bite off more than we can chew. That goes without saying. I'd rather not get myself killed due to inadequate preparation. 
You don't have to worry that much. If you want to go fight, I'll help keep you safe myself. I promise. I don't recall asking for your protection. You don't need to. Hmm. So we found a code red demon. He's got a nice axe. Very nice axe. Okay, so the guy went missing somewhere around here. Yeah, these squirrels are gonna try and kill me. You know, once a squirrel stole my sister's sandwich. She was quite upset. I think I just found a code red demon. Let's get from the back of the fable encounter. Oh, full word killer. I refuse to fall here. And that was our first Code Red Demon, everyone. It actually went pretty well. I, I only found out once. Overall, I call that a win. Oh, and there's a chest over here. Excellent! I used one of those in battle. And now I got it back. Isn't it funny how life just works out sometimes? There. What on earth are guards doing here? Watch out! They've got Malachi. There are no ordinary cell swords. Sheesh. What do you suppose they were guarding? A little lost lamb, perhaps. You think they're holding Mendy captive? Hmm. What's going on here? Who the place is you? How did you get here? You didn't kill the mercenaries sent to watch us, did you? And what is this? Uh, extremely valuable, I'm gonna guess, guess what this is. Uh, I'm trying not to run. Very well. Is there someone here named Mendy? We've come to help. Oh, thank goodness. I can finally go home. So they were keeping you prisoner. They made you mine vermilion ore? Yes, I discovered a method of refining it, and it cost me dearly. What's vermilion ore? A rare stone made of concentrated nutrients. It can be used in medicine, but it's also poisonous. Correct. So you were making medicine? Yes. They were forcing me to make a nutritional substance called nectar. Isn't vermilion ore supposed to be highly addictive? Uh, I told them that. But what choice did I have? Whatever. Our task is complete. Can you get back to Logris on your own? I can. I'm terribly sorry. Why apologize to me? We finished all the jobs. Let's get back to the old lady's tavern. <laughs> you sure do like that Mabo curry. <laughs> Do I? Don't ask me. You didn't think it was tasty, Velvet? Couldn't tell you. Huh? Food doesn't hold any flavor for her. According to Velvet, she can never feel sated, and the only thing she can taste is blood. Oh, I see. 
Mm. What's the matter? You're gloomier than usual. Am I actually useful? Huh? You can cut down any enemy, and Aizen can beat them up. Velvet is strong and can eat anything. Hmm? Huh? But I'm not good at fighting, and apparently I'm always gloomy. Is that what's bothering you? In a fight, offense alone isn't everything. Hurting your foes means nothing if you don't live to tell the tale afterwards. Your healing arts are what let us always fight at our best. He's right. Compared to dead weight like Mogilu, you're plenty helpful out there. Only compared to Mogilu? I didn't mean it like that. I was just saying she never helped at all. <sighs> you're not going to grow overnight. Be patient. Huh? You've only just been set free. That you've even managed to keep up with us this far is a feat in and of itself. Strength comes by continually improving your mind and body. Keep your spirits up and keep working at it. And you'll get there before you know it. I will? The drive to improve is what's important. Right. Welcome back. That must have been hard work. How does marble curry sound to you? I also have our specialty peach pie on hand. We had a deal. Spill it. <laughs> Shepherd Artorius has gone north, up the Danan Highway, at the Abbey's newest temple, the Empyrean's Throne. He is expected to be there for a while. Are they relocating there? In a sense, yes. They're holding a ritual to move the seat of the Empyrean in Nominat. In Nominat. In other words, the Abbey's new god. It is a very serious affair, so I imagine Melchior will be there along with the other High Exorcists. Suits us fine. I might even find him there. That will do. Somewhere in there we'll find a chance to strike. Perhaps. But be aware that security near the throne is on high alert. We'll manage to get through. No, you won't. You may be able to fool the guards, but there's no tricking the barrier they've put up. They've used arts to erect a giant wall, keeping outsiders away. But they have to get through themselves. That implies some sort of key, right? Yes. In fact, one of our people is looking into that as we speak. However, I'm afraid... <laughs> <laughs> It'll cost us. You learn quickly. And here's the bill. Okay, now we're really not being nice. Consider it done. Aren't you going to ask why you have to kill a high priest? I imagine it's because he's the one controlling the nectar supply. The Church is the sole producer and distributor of a highly addictive substance. They rake in huge profits, while the common man, along with your people, suffer for it. Does that cover it? You noticed your tasks were related. That was the real test, wasn't it? And you passed. No matter how skilled you are, you have to know more than how to swing a sword to earn my trust. Don't misunderstand my intentions. I'm willing to do anything if it brings me to Artorias. I ditched my scabbard long ago. <sighs> I see. So you are the embodiment of a bare blade. A more formal introduction is in order. I am Tabitha Baskerville, leader of the Bloodwing Butterflies. I'm Velvet. Tell me about the High Priest. Each evening, he prays for protection from calamity at the royal villa on the Castle Logris grounds. 
Tradition holds that the high priest should be alone for the prayer. That would seem the best time to strike. How do we get into the villa? Carry this insignia with you, and allies of the Bloodwings will offer you their aid. We'll hold up our end. Just find out about that key. Ah, <sighs> uh, Velvet? Are you okay? It's nothing. But you seem... I said it's nothing! Uh... Sneaking into the castle will be an all-night job. Let's take this time to get everything ready and then rest at the tavern. Yeah. So, that'll be all for today, Waddles. I hope you all enjoy, and until next time... Shadow trade, what's this? If nectar made from vermilion ore is so bad for your health that it was banned, why are they making it? They make it because it was banned. Huh? Just because the powers that be say a rule is for the greater good, it doesn't mean that everyone will see eye to eye with them. If Tabitha's Mabo curry was outlawed, would you really be able to never eat it again? I wouldn't like it, but if it's against the rules... Uh... <laughs> Well, you'll get hungry no matter what. People want what they want. But anything forbidden is bound to be rare. And when things are rare, they become expensive. So that's why people make it. The world isn't a simple place. There's an underside to everything. An underside? Contract killers, secret weapons dealers, loan sharks that charge outrageous interest, pirates like me, the folks who offered us mooring for information, and the Gilded Helavis are all part of it. As are the people who dye chicks blue to sell them at a higher price. And the people who bet on alleyway bug fights. <gasps> and they'll come to you with a smile, so you can't let your guard down if you want to stay safe. What sorts of bugs do they make fight? That's the part that got your attention. Until next time, mortals. Good night. <laughs>